One of the biggest problems for leak locating today is not having enough time. What this means is that you have got to be incredibly efficient or you won't get anything done. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the most good in the least amount of time using some easy tools in PressureWeb. First, we need to identify the worst pipe route in our area by looking at the endpoint pressure transducer readings. It is identified by transducer type EP. The best way to find your worst EP is by using the tools in PressureWeb. In the My Offices view, click on the Troubles tab. On the drop-down menu, select Pipe Pressures. PressureWeb will list the worst offenders ranked by end pipe pressure. PressureWeb filters out any end pipe pressures that are above the standard set in PressureWeb, which is usually 7.5 psi, as you can see here. In this situation, our top trouble is the B pipe of the Eastcliff office. It has an end pipe pressure of 3.9 psi, and the pipe is flowing two and a half times OAU. It is safe to say that the B pipe is our worst route in any of our offices. If we focus on raising that end pipe pressure, we will be doing the best thing possible for our worst route. Now that we have identified our worst route, let's take a look at the devices on that route by clicking on the pipe name in the pipe column, in this case, letter B. This is the specific pipe view. Here we see all the devices impacting the B pipe route. First, I want to look at the delivery pressure in the central office, which is the SP or source pipe pressure transducer type. This should be at least 10 psi. If our source pipe pressure is below 10 psi, then all I need to do is open up the regulator on our central office pipe panel to at least 10 psi. This is the easiest fix imaginable as it increases the pressure on all of our cables and it may even take that end pipe pressure out of the danger zone so I can work on my next worst route. No such luck here. In this situation, the source pressure is already at the standard 10 psi, so it looks like I need to dig a little deeper. Next, I need to take a look at the air pipe manifold flows on that route. The manifold flow transducers are identified as MF devices in pressure web. We are not necessarily looking at the highest overall flow, but the greatest flow in comparison to OAU. Here, our MF device in manhole 203 jumps out to me. It is flowing 30 standard cubic feet an hour with an OAU of 3 standard cubic feet. That's 10 times OAU. Our other MF devices are flowing 2 and 1.5 and times OAU. Those may be worth looking at in the future, but right now I am just trying to fix the biggest leak on our worst route. So I'm going to focus on the MF device in manhole 203. By clicking on the device name, in this case 2-08, I can explore further. This view shows the device information as well as the past readings on this device. Looking down here at the device history, it looks like three or four days ago our flow jumped from 3 standard cubic feet per hour to 30 standard cubic feet per hour. This does not necessarily tell me what to do next, but it might just tell me who to yell at for messing up my system. I know for a fact that Marty was in that hole four days ago, so he is buying me lunch. Now I need to visit this manhole and take flow readings at the manifold for each individual cable. I will attack the highest flowing cable first. A flow of 12 standard cubic feet per hour or more is a good candidate to look at. 15 or more is even better. Next, we should do a zero leak projection at the manifold. Information about the zero leak projection is available in another system studies training video. At this stage, it is important that you take your time leak locating because you know that you are working on the biggest leak on your worst route. You are probably fixing the biggest problem in your whole office. This is a very simplistic plan, and there are some variables that I will talk about in later videos, but this is a good start for those new to air pressure. If you have questions, or you would like us to take a look at one of your routes and make suggestions, give us a call at System Studies. Operators are standing by.